As you've heard me talk about on the last couple of episodes, the last few episodes, I've referenced my mission. I'm on a mission to guest speak on 50 podcasts in 100 days. And in this third part of the inspiration of that, so part three of that inspiration was uh, I'm horrified to spend money on Facebook ads. Like I'm horrified and I've got some stories and insights around that. Uh, So listen up, enjoy this episode. You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end, the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. Guest speaking on 50 podcasts in 100 days. The inspiration inspiration for that part number three. Part number one was I had, I believe it was part one, I had some tremendous success guest speaking on on somebody else's show. So I believe that was actually part two. So you can listen to that. That was two episodes ago. And part one was uh, I had a confirmation of value, a tremendous confirmation of value. Like I added $70,000 of revenue to someone's bottom line. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm onto something here. I need to get this story out. So part three here is um, I'm horrified to spend money on Facebook and what is an alternative route to go to get yourself out to market um, in, in, in a relatively efficient manner. And that's guest speaking on 50 podcasts in 100 days. Uh, some people call that dream 100-ing. Uh, you could call it networking. You could call it uh, going on tour. <laughs> There's so many things you could call it. Um, one, so let's say this, uh, guest speaking on 50 podcasts in 100 days will probably have less instant gratification lead-wise and finance-wise or like direct relatable income-wise than maybe Facebook ads. Uh, but the benefit is is that you're spending time versus money. Um, that, that's a benefit. It could also be a cost, right, because it's using time where Facebook ads, you save your time and you uh, just spend your money. But I believe that that is an illusion. I, I have been in the Two Comma Club X uh, coaching program in ClickFunnels, and I see a lot of people spending a lot of money on Facebook ads, social media ads, Google search, you know, all these... Uh, social media ad platforms and getting a positive return on income is really, really hard. And, uh, and the way they quantify positive return on income on, on ad spend ROI or is that ROAS return on ad spend? Uh, you know, like, it's a one to one. So I spent a dollar, I earned a dollar back. Yes, so it's working. But in reality, that is a still a losing proposition in my mind because you now <laughs> you still got to you still gotta make a profit on on um on the product, right? So it's like I spent a hundred dollars on a lead, and I may, and I earned back a hundred dollars by the products that they purchased. So that's like, oh yeah, I've got a break-even ROI. Well, perhaps you don't because you still have to fulfill the product. You still have to. There's all the associated costs with fulfillment, and even if it's a digital product that you made once, and it's evergreen there's still costs associated with it there's still fulfillment costs there's still ancillary ancillatory uh there's still which is kind of like saying there's other costs associated with it there are other costs associated with it and i just see people spending and spending and spending and not figuring out the ad game and with the recent 
or not so recent, you know, the the Apple changing its algorithm and all that. I guess it's not recent at this point, but that collapsed a lot of people's businesses um, who had very successful successful businesses built on ad spend, Facebook ads, and those businesses have since collapsed. <laughs> So Russell Brunson talks a lot about uh, about he built ClickFunnels. He spent, I think it was a year or two or three years, building ClickFunnels before he spent any money on ads. And he did it through affiliate relationships. He did it through his Dream 100 efforts by going out and speaking on podcasts, speaking on shows, doing joint ventures, doing joint webinars, doing affiliate relationships, all these sorts of things. And he encourages people to do that first, perhaps. And I think there's a lot of benefits with that. And and so that's, that's why I'm like, I'm going on podcast tour. I've got some time. Um, so yeah, let's spend the time building out the system to go speak on 50 podcasts, guest speak on 50 podcasts in 100 days. So that's the inspiration behind that. I've seen too many, too many people spend too much money trying to sell their products and services with, with Facebook ads, with social media ads. And I'm finally ready to start growing my business. Cause I, I, I'm, I know what I want to sell. Um, you know, getting uh, getting people their t- customer testimonials, and I actually have an even better. My favorite thing in that regard is going to live events, doing these things that I call strategic event interviews, which are actually not a testimonial, but <clears throat> the testimonial, a testimonial, is a byproduct of the strategic event in- interview, and actually, another byproduct of the strategic strategic event interview is that you can. Um, take the content from my strategic event interviews and make ads and you know use the use that content on landing pages on on you know in your summit funnels and your challenge funnels and the in the in the register the landing page the registration pages for those right like to get people to opt into those excuse me i was coughing um you can use them in your VSLs, your video sales letters, all over the place, your opt-in funnels. Um, you know, the other thing is that it captures your customer stories, and so you can start t- telling those stories in your marketing, even in your verbal marketing when you're talking to prospects and all those things. I deal with so many people who are not telling their customer stories, their customer success stories and the analogies and the things that come with that. Um, so that's, a, that's another side benefit of, this, of these strategic event interviews and testimonials and et cetera. <laughs> Where was I going with this? Um, anyway, I've, I've, I've proved concept. I've driven revenue for, for people. I've, with my strategic event interviews, I've, I've gotten their social proof for them. Um, one of the great side benefits of customer testimonials that I deliver to my clients is that they feel so empowered because they get to hear how great their work is for their clients and how they're impacting lives and, and that they, you know, they're just having massive impact. And so that can carry you forward in your entrepreneurial journey. Anyway, so I've got, I've got my product and I've, and I've got, I'm ready to to talk about it and bring it to market and grow it. And I'm horrified to spend money on ads. Someday I will spend it and learn it. Um, But I think a side benefit of not starting by spending money on ads is you can refine your hooks. You can refine your stories. You can refine your marketing language by speaking on podcasts, by speaking on shows, by doing all these sorts of things, by networking, going to events, 
Um, and then when you've refined your message and you're starting to learn hooks and learn truly to an in-depth level of what your customers are wanting and what their hot buttons are and all those sorts of things, then you start working on ads. Um, but more will be revealed. That's it. That's the end of part three. Um, and I believe my podcast tour, my efforts to speak on 50 podcasts, to guest speak on 50 podcasts in 100 days, starts, um, what, in about seven days, six days, I think? I'm currently in Mexico at a mastermind, so <laughs> I'm losing track of time. All right. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star and share. Thank you again for listening.